are so happy to support the Documentary Film Festival. It's a wonderful endeavor, especially now that they are a designated site for the Academy Awards, and we're thrilled to have everyone here tonight. This is our A Night in Hollywood fundraiser for the Hot Springs Documentary Film Festival 2014, and we are basically just telling everybody about the upcoming festival and all the exciting things that are happening and fundraising. This is a marvelous, marvelous event for the Documentary Film Festival. My name is Shirley Chauvin. I'm with my friend Clyde Powell. We are going to do a couple of numbers and probably inspire these wonderful people to be generous and help the Documentary Film Festival. They're so deserving. Hot Springs wouldn't be the same without that organization. We are having a party to celebrate the Oscar designation for Hot Springs Documentary Film Festival and to gather all our supporters and volunteers and friends together to have a great time and gather some extra support for the festival. It's coming up in October. So, and uh, get lots of donations. And lots of donations. Thank you for that, Shirley. And uh, we're going to have some wonderful music in a while. We have uh, celebrity guests. It's going to be an incredible night. We're expecting a huge crowd tonight and we're here to raise money and so I hope to see a lot of checks coming in. We're very excited. Springs. Hello, welcome to Hot Springs. Beautiful home, wonderful party. Hollywood Night in Hot Springs, and in true uh, 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 Tinseltown fashion, let's give a big Hollywood welcome to Shirley Chauvin and Clyde Pound. A man of distinction, a real big spender. Good looking, so refined. Say, wouldn't you like to know what's going on in my mind? Let me get right to the point. I don't pop my cork for every guy I see. show you a laugh, laugh, 
let me show you one Good time, I want to show you Good time The minute you walked in the joint I could see you was a man of distinction A real big spender Good looking, so refined Say, wouldn't you like to know what's going on in my mind? So let me get right to the point I don't pop my cork for every guy I see Hey, big spender Go A little time with me. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> hey, big spender, spend a little time with me. Thank you. Thank you. It's a it's a new day. You know, it's a new year. It's a new era for Hot Springs Documentary Film Festival and Institute. Um, with the Oscar designation, our splashy new uh, uh, programmer, um, our Oscar winners on the uh, juries that we're building right now, and uh, famous actresses who come to our parties. <laughs> uh, I can't wait to begin to reveal uh, our exciting lineup for this year and uh, our, all of our special guests that are going to be joining us. Um, uh, I'd like to recognize any uh, Hot Springs Documentary Film Institute or Arkansas Motion Picture Institute board members who are here tonight. We appreciate them. Raise your hand if yeah. you're in this room. Uh, I'd like to also recognize uh, uh, Kim Steele Smith Payne, who came all the way from uh, Warner Brothers to be here tonight. Um, uh, an extra special welcome to actress Tess Harper. Yes. Yes. To actress Joey Lauren Adams. Yes. And to Natalie Canterday. Yes. Uh, uh, Tess, huh? you always have an opinion about this. Oh, <laughs> you name it, I got an yeah. opinion. <laughs> what do you A think million about, of them. What do you think about Hot Springs documentary? Oh, I thought you would never ask. <laughs> I came here last year for the first time and fell madly in love with Hot Springs, which was the first time I'd been in Hot Springs since I was in the Miss Arkansas pageant in 1961. Wow. <laughs> but I fell in love with the place. The people who come here, when I went home, I would pick up the New York Times or the LA Times and there would be a review of a film that I saw here and I saw it before they did. And the people who come through town, I talk to people who come every year from Memphis. I talk to people who come driving through here their whole motorcycle trip. You know, Harley Davidson's, Davidson's aren't what they were uh, in the 60s. Those guys are now like old and, <laughs> and retired and have money <laughs> and like film festivals. And there were people who drive up seven and all through the beautiful parts of Arkansas and they stop and they go to the festival for a while. The food was good. This city is such a jewel and it happens at a time when the city is kind of slow. But there's so much. I mean, we I was thinking how much money was spent in the restaurants and, and in hotels and buying gas and all of that tax money that have helped all of you here in Hot Springs. And I just want to say it's a fabulous film festival. It's only getting better. It has Arkansas interests. It has Arkansas filmmakers. It has filmmakers from around the world who make wonderful, interesting, engaging documentaries. And I said, I got to come back every year. So I'm back again. And, I'm back again. <laughs> and that's right. <laughs> what do you really think? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and we have another extra special guest, and that is a well-known columnist uh, from our area who has been uh, just a tremendous champion 
for Hot Springs the City, for Arkansas as a whole, for Hot Springs the City and for the Hot Springs Documentary Film Festival. You're so grateful to him, and that is Rex Nelson. Thank you. I'm, I'm going to make this real quick because it's not easy to hear and it's hot. But, uh, you know, sometimes you get a sense that a time has come. And I really feel now, with all that is going on, we are about to see the rebirth of downtown Hot Springs. And the Hot Springs Documentary Film Festival is going to be the cornerstone of that rebirth. I was walking in with Courtney Crouch, who has been involved for years in historic preservation, and he was telling me, I go to Sarasota Springs, New York, every summer. We've got a better collection of architecture in downtown Hot Springs than even Saratoga did. Hot Springs was once known as the Saratoga of the South. Hot Springs was built on mineral water and illegal gambling. I think the rebirth that you will see will be mineral water, outdoors, and the arts. That is going to be the rebirth of Hot Springs. There are things already happening. It's only going to speed up. And so we are right here witnessing, I think, the start of the great rebirth of Hot Springs to return it again to one of the great resort cities in the South and the Documentary Film Festival will play, play, play a huge role in that. So I've moved to water now, but lift your glasses and a toast to, to Hot Springs and her glorious past and to the Hot Springs Documentary Film Festival and Hot Springs and its even more glorious future. Chairman of the Board, Hot Springs Documentary Film Institute, Susan Altrui. And my partner in crime. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Thank you all so much for being here. We also want to thank our gracious hosts, the Steel Smiths. Thank you very much, Irvis, Steel Smith, and Ray. And also, Dorothy Morris, thank you very much for And also, Dorothy Morris, thank you for helping us. Dorothy. Dorothy. We appreciate that. We also have some elected officials in the House. I'd like to recognize Representative David Kaze. Uh, we also have Karen Garcia, who is on the City Board of Directors, and is Becca Clark here? I think I saw her earlier. Yes. yes. Becca Clark is here also. So thank you so much for your support, because it's important to have the support of our elected officials, too. So why are we here tonight? We are here because we need to support the Documentary Film Festival, and we need your help. We have such a great festival and so many wonderful things lined up, but we can't make it happen if we don't have your financial support. And that's why we invited you all here tonight is because we need you to make a donation. Tonight we are introducing the Red Carpet Circle and this is an exclusive donor club and there is information on it over here in the kitchen but we would like for you to make a donation of a thousand dollars or more to be a part of the Red Carpet Circle. We're going to have VIP events, we're going to have VIP things at the festival and there's a lot of reasons why we think that people should be a part of this because it's giving back to the community, it's giving back to Hot Springs, but it's also going to be a lot of fun for the people that are a member of it. However, a donation of any kind is appreciated and it makes a difference. Even that $50, $25, $100 gift makes a difference. It adds up. And we need that support from all of you, from each and every one of you, because it really means that we can do what we would do what we do best for Hot Springs, which is put on an awesome Awesome, awesome film festival and you all are going to really enjoy this year's festival and so if there's anything I can say it's to please 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 make a donation and help us with that because we need your help and with that I would like to introduce Dorothy. Thank you so much it's such a wonderful turnout tonight I'm so excited well you know what I'm usually doing I'm usually asking for money <laughs> And I'm giving a nice check, and Don Monroe is sending a check. He couldn't be here tonight, but we want everyone to join us in supporting this festival. It's very important for Hot Springs. Thank you. Thank you all for coming. Uh, big thanks to uh, our host for this event, Dorothy Morris, Don Monroe, Irma and Ray Steel Smith. Beautiful house. Thank you. Uh, Rex Nelson. Thank you, Rex. Uh, the board of the Hot Springs Documentary Film Institute. And I think that's it, isn't it? I think that's it. I, 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 I want to join yes. the circle. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Hollywood. Yeah, <laughs>
Closets? Anyone? Anyone? Let's just pass this along, please. Thank you. And we're going to have fun. One final really special treat from Shirley and Clyde. And the title of this song just happens to be, I Want Some Money. Yes. <laughs> some people think I'm a square, cause I don't do what they do. I've given up whiskey and beer and wenches. I don't do cocaine, I don't smoke reefers or hash. I get my kicks when I feel cold cash. I want some money. I'm not talking nickels and dimes. Money, let me count those dollar signs. <laughs> I used to do all those things I mentioned to you. I drank and I smoked, I chased my men too. I had a few laughs, I had a few thrills, but I found out pretty quick it wasn't paying my bills. It was fair money. Yeah. Give her money. I'm talking dollars and Bankroll of pictures of all those dead presidents. <laughs> I want some money, all pretty and green, with lots of zeros. Karen, you know what I mean. I want some money, that good food stuff. I want stacks and piles of money, cause too much ain't enough. Laughing about getting high or chasing a shirt. Those Sometimes it's fun when no one gets hurt. But there's only one thing to help you make it through each day. That's having something to spend and something to pay. I want some money. I like my pocket full of dough. I'm going to build my bank account. Sit back and watch it grow. And, and I just have to say, well, I meant to say, we also have here with us our associate director, Megan Baker, right back here. Megan, Megan, without Megan, we would fall apart. And I just want to say a special thanks to my friend Dorothy Morris for everything that you have done, spirit-wise and everything else for this. You're great. Thank you. And the donation box is right here, everyone. Thank you. That was fun. You're welcome. We're so happy to be here. We are very happy to be here. <laughs> well, basically, the odds are really good right now because look at all these ladies in the It's just, you know, you're flat. Waiting on our wine, so yeah, yeah, like, more wine. So sorry, yes. You can see on your faces the last couple of days. Oh my God, it's just more two more days. <laughs> There's this woman who comes through with her Winnebago, and she works the film festival yes. every year. She goes from Arizona up to Minnesota, and then coming down, she stops and works the festival That's for the whole hard. festival That's as long cool. as yeah. we're, we're you're fine, kindly you're famous. I'm Everybody's famous yeah. for at least 15 minutes, and I've, I've stretched You're mine. famous. Joey's borderline famous. I'm their fat friend. <laughs> I'm the comic relief. <laughs> Well, that keeps me going. So why? 